Hey y'all, how's it going? It's your army queen slash hospitality queen Tierney, K Positive Pinky. So it's been a while since I've done a cover. Um, you know, I am recovering from about a uh, sinus infection that I've had for over a month. Um, but I am on the mend. Um, you know, I also deal with that chronic sinus sinus thing. So you know, it's just what it is, you know, it is what it is, but um, I am doing overall a lot better. I'm trying to stay healthy and, you know, I got my flu shot today, so that's a plus. Um, so, you know, it has been a week with people, you know, um, as they say, audacity is on sale. Excuse me, sorry. Um, but I made popcorn, not her flip. Um, you know, he's been dead for almost two years, and um, he was my friend and my boyfriend, and, um, you know, the person I was supposed to, you know, make future plans with, obviously. Uh, but obviously that didn't get to happen, um, you know, but he would want me to find the next person, so one day I'll find the right person, but for now I'm healing from it. Um, you know, he would want me to, you know, move forward, and he wouldn't want me to be sad about it. But it's still hard to believe that he's been dead even to this day. Like, you know, I still have to ask myself, like, how is that possible? Like, how is he really dead? Um, but it's very sad. It's very tragic. It's very heartbreaking. And I can tell you right now that I knew that when he died, the sinus infections were going to hit hard. And it was going to be a trigger for his death. I mean, I, I just knew. I was like, yeah, this is going to hit hard. Um... And, you know, the anniversaries hit me, like when his one year death anniversary hit me, it, it was a lot. Um, and I'm not talking about like a fake Hollywood cry. I'm talking about like lifetime movie crying, like bawling, like, you know, uh, like true vulnerability. Like, you know what I mean? So it was a great day. Um, it actually was a really great day. Um, you know, people were kind of away, but, um, but I didn't really take it personally, you know. I don't really believe in internalizing things, you know, because a lot of times when people are being away, it's not directed towards one person. It's directed at everybody. So I've just learned to not internalize things and to just, you know, um, yeah. So um, something I kind of want to talk about in the introduction. So... I think a lot of times when we think of being off the clock, we just think of a time clock that we clock in and out of. But I think we need to remind ourselves that it's perfectly okay to be off the clock from a certain day. Like maybe it wasn't our day, or maybe it was just a tripping day, or maybe things happened that we weren't prepared for. But it's perfectly normal to be off the clock from the day, or to even be off the clock from people. Like that's what I always say, like when I've reached my maximum capacity of people for the week, you know, that's what I say, like I'm off the clock from people and it's perfectly fine to be off the clock from people and to disconnect. Um, that's something I'm working on is, you know, disconnecting and unplugging from technology and social media. Um, so I was listening to this song today, which brings me into this. So, um, so I love Rascal Flats. They're one of my favorite country artists. Um, and so I was listening to Mayberry and I had some serious flashbacks of the college days um, oh, to be young again. Uh, I mean, I'm still in my prime, I'm not old, but you know, uh, I feel old because sometimes, you know, um, I remember the days when I could pull all nighters without any effort. Um, and now I can't, I can't do that like I used to. Um, if I get four hours of sleep, it's not a pretty sight. Um, like I need my sleep, you know, um, it's a little things in life. Uh, so. So I was listening to Mayberry and, you know, I was alone in the house. I was just, you know, feeling my feels and you know what I mean? So I decided to do it tonight. Um, all right. Hope you all enjoy. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like the world's spinning faster 
than it did in the old days. So naturally we have more natural disasters from the train of a fast pace. Sunday was a day of rest. Now it's one more day for progress. And we can't slow down because more is best. It's all that nail is process. I miss Mayberry sitting on the porch drinking ice cold cherry coke. Everything is black and white Picking on six string People passing by and they're calling by the first name Watching the clouds roll by By, by Sometimes I can hear the soul worth shouting the cheese and trees as the wind blows I'm tripping. That's when I climb up here on this mountain to look through God's window. Now I can't fly, but I've got two feet to get me high up here. Above the noise of the city street. My worries disappear. I miss Maybe sitting on the porch drinking ice cold cherry cold. Everything is black and white. Picking on my six street, people pass by and call my first name. Watching the clouds go by. by Sometimes I dream I'm driving down an old dirt road Not even listed on a map I pass a dad and son carrying a fishing pole But I always wake up every time I try to turn back I miss Maybe sitting on the porch drinking ice cold cherry cone where everything is black and white Picking on a six street People pass by and I'm caught by the first day Watching the clouds roll by Bye bye Bye